What's up, everybody? This is Jed Johnson from DieselCrew.com, and you already know what they call me. They call me Napalm. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and tell all your friends about this wonderful series. This is day 13. It's Friday the 13th in the 31 days of Q&A. If you didn't see yesterday's video yet on Trigger Finger, you want to check that thing out. All right, that's some important stuff that'll keep you healthy. Today's question comes from the Nixter. Great name, brother. Great name. Wants to know if I think block training, pinch block training, is what he should focus on if he wants to do a rafter pinch hang. So, what's a block? In this case, what he's talking about is something like this that has an attachment on the bottom and you grip it like this, attach it to a loading pin, and you lift weight with that. Maybe something more narrow, like this, which goes on our Napalm's Nightmare Unit. And you would grip it like this, okay? But these are pinch blocks, all right? Not to be confused with block weights. Block weights are a little bit different. So, what's my answer? No, I wouldn't focus on pinch blocks in order to perform a rafter pull up or a rafter you know pinch hold or hang no uh the i would uh, i would go with specificity brother i would work with actual rafters all right if i were focusing on this i would work on actual rafters so what you might do is hopefully you have rafters at your house i'm assuming you're trying to do this because you have rafters somewhere whether it's in your in your house or in the barn or in your basement, whatever, that you can actually work on. What I would focus on is some kind of band assisted work. So like, let's say you grab on two wide ones and there's another rafter here, then you could put an eye bolt there, secure it safely, of course, attach a, a, a carabiner and attach a band and then stand in the band and then perform your lifts, like your, your, your hangs and your pull-ups that way. That's specificity. That's going to work your body in a way that it's, it needs to in order to do that, that pull up or hang. Whereas in pinch block, it's, it's totally different. All right. It's a different movement pattern. Your hand's going to be in a different position and you're most likely only going to work one hand at a time unless you've got the napalm's nightmare. And even with the napalm's nightmare, you're going to be gripping like this, which I don't think you're trying to hang off of a rafter like this. I think you're going to be like this. There's actually a lot of um, chest and shoulder engagement that goes on with rafter work. So you need to get used to doing that and you're not gonna have that with a pinch block. So no to the pinch block. If you already have one, then sure, you can use it and supplement that training with the rafters, um, supplement your rafter training with the pinch block. But I would say the majority of the stuff that you wanna do is on the rafters. All right, hope this has been helpful. Check out the rest of the videos in the series, guys. Some of these videos have been very, very popular compared to the others, so we make sure that you check them out. Um, I haven't had a ton of time to do a couple of these videos that involve actual drills. I wanna show you some drills um, and make them even better for you, so please bear with me on that. There, there's, a, there's a few of them that are really good, and I really wanna put those together. They'll be coming your way soon. And also, um, I got more of these never lose your grip banners posters that you can hang in your gym they're 25 dollars plus shipping so if you're interested just hit me up you can either go through my website and email me or hit me at jed.diesel at gmail.com go through facebook instagram whatever and we can work everything out all right all the best in your training everybody take care